everyone, it's Biv here. Welcome back to the Biv Show YouTube channel. Now, I want to apologize for not uploading for the last three months or so. I've just been so busy. Uh, I've been getting a lot of work lately, which has been taking up a lot of my time, plus Christmas and summer, nor have I had the motivation to upload lately. But I'm back, and I'm hoping to upload on a regular basis from this point onwards, especially moving into the footy season and beyond. But I hope everyone is well. I hope everyone is keeping safe and healthy. Of course, if you're not aware, I do upload on a regular basis on my other social media platforms, uh, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. So make sure you go check me out on, on those social media platforms because I'm always doing content on those uh, social media websites. I'm always active. But in this video, I wanted to discuss the Big Bash. Now, if you know me well, you know that I'm a huge Hobart Hurricane supporter, and I'm a huge Big Bash fan. I love the Big Bash. I've loved it since its establishment in 2011. I love the concept, and in my opinion, it's here to stay whether people like it or not. But there's no denying that the popularity of the Big Bash has decreased in the last couple of seasons. So in this video, I want to discuss ways that I think will improve the Big Bash. So let's not muck around. Let's get straight into discussing my ways that will improve the Big Bash moving forward. Number one, shortening the season. Now currently, it's a full home and away season, so every team plays each other twice. The competition runs for two months. That's just way too long. Way too long. Now, I'll put my hand up and be honest. I was all for the full home and away season when it was first brought in. I thought, this is going to be great. More games to watch, more games to attend here in Tassie. And it was good for the first season, but... The last couple of seasons, it's proved to be way too long. It's proved to be a bit of a drag towards the end. And there, there needs to be some changes to the length of the season. And I also think it's keeping, you know, big players that we want to see in the Big Bash, it's keeping them away because they're thinking, oh, two months, I don't have that much time to spend in the Big Bash. So what I think we need to do is go back to every team plays each other once, chuck in an extra round for the Melbourne Derby, the Sydney Smash, etc. So that's eight rounds. And also reduce the finals to four teams. Why five teams make the finals is beyond me. Why we have a five-game final series is beyond me. That's more than half the competition making finals. We need to go back to four teams making finals. So 1v2, 3v4, the winner of 1v2 gets the first spot in the grand final. The loser of 1v2 plays the winner of 3v4, and then the winner of that game goes through the grand final. It's not rocket science. We need to shorten the season because it is way too long. And the players... The players are e even admitting that. Number two, get rid of these gimmick rules. It is making the Big Bash look shambolic. The X Factor sub, get rid of it. Chuck it in the bin. Cricket is not football. It's not soccer. It's not basketball. There's no subs in cricket. Apart from the, the, the fielding... Uh, subs, but that's a different thing. It's not the same thing. You name a starting 11, a 12th man, and that's it. And plus, I don't think teams are using the X Factor sub enough to make it worthwhile. So I don't want to see any more of it. Get rid of it ahead of next season. The Big Bash boost point. Oh my god. This rule is bizarre. It's shocking. It complicates the league so much. I reckon a fan that's new to Big Bash would look at the ladder and think, hang on, how does a team such as the Strikers, for example, make the finals when they've got less wins than the Melbourne Stars who missed out? It's just, it's bizarre. Absolutely bizarre. Chuck it in the bin, and I don't see any logic in a team that loses a game walking away with one point. It's just... No, 
I don't want to see it anymore. The bash boost point is rubbish, in my opinion. And the power surge, although I can see the logic with that, get rid of it. Go back to the 6-over power play. Number three is an obvious one. Bring in DRS. Most people that follow the Big Bash have been calling for this for many seasons now. It just has to happen. We must see DRS in the Big Bash. I think if we're going to improve the standard of the competition, we must see DRS. Teams must be given an opportunity to review at least once in an innings. If they're unsuccessful, they lose the review. If they're successful, they keep the review, just like we see in international cricket. This is not criticizing the umpires at all. They do a fantastic job at what they do, but mistakes happen in any sport, in particular cricket. And that's where teams must be given the opportunity to rectify those mistakes. So DRS is a must. I think we would have seen it by now if it wasn't for COVID. I also think as well, shortening the season is very important for DRS because I would have thought with the full home and away season, it costs way more to use DRS. And by shortening the season, yes, it's going to be expensive, but it's going to cut the costs to a certain extent. Hopefully the broadcasters can help with DRS if required, but come on, we need to see DRS in the Big Bash. We need to see it as early as next season, surely. Number four, increasing the salary cap. Now, I'm not an expert when it comes to this area by any means, but my understanding is the current salary cap is 1.9 mil, around about there. The basic salary cap for all players is 42 grand. Now, it's very obvious that the money on offer here in the Big Bash is not as much as uh, other tournaments and competitions around the world, and hence that players, they don't want to come to the Big Bash because the money is just not there. So that's why we're not attracting the biggest and best players from all around the world. Now, I understand that money doesn't grow on trees and money's tough at, at this point in time, especially uh, due to COVID and so on and so forth. But if we are going to attract the biggest and best players to the Big Bash, I think the salary cap increasing is something that needs to be looked at. Because trust me, we are not attracting the biggest and best players. We were, in the early days of the Big Bash, there were some fantastic players coming from all around the world to be in part of the Big Bash. But it's not happening at the moment. This season we saw mostly English players uh, come over. And it was probably due to COVID and, and given the English team was was here in Australia. We, we obviously had the Ashes and then the England A team were here for a period of time. So that's probably why we saw a lot of you know county cricket players. But we don't want to just see county cricket players. We want to see, you know, players from all around the world, the biggest and the best. And I guarantee you, if you go to the ICC player T20 rankings, more than half are not playing in the Big Bash. So something has to be done. And if, if that means increasing the salary cap and offering more money, then so be it. Because, yes, cricket players, they play because they love the game, but they also play for the money. It's it's their job. It's their profession. They, they need... To, to earn a living from playing cricket to put, you know, food on the table. So I really think that, yeah, increasing the salary cap is something that needs to be looked at. And I also think maybe match payments also needs to be looked at as well. Maybe you need to introduce, you know, match fees. Players get a match fee for playing, a bit like, I think they do that in the Sheffield Shield in the one-day uh, cup, but they don't do that in the Big Bash. So then maybe that's something that needs to be looked at. And number five, my last point Get all Big Bash games back on free to air. Now, the current broadcast agreement sees most Big Bash games broadcasted on free to air via Channel 7, but there is over a handful that are exclusive to Fox Sports, Fox Cricket. And um, I just think the popularity of the Big Bash was at its peak when all Big Bash games were on free to air a few seasons ago via Channel 10. Like, they were the days. I feel like the Big Bash was just a phenomenal success when that happened. And I just would like to, to see all games back on free-to-air for everyone to see. Now, this is no disrespect or, or anything to Fox Sports. They do a fantastic job at broadcasting, well, every sport, but in particular um, cricket. They're probably the best in the business when it, when it comes to broadcasting sport. But not everyone has access to Fox 
Yes, KO is only 25 a month. That's cheap for, for some people. I'm lucky I can afford that. But some families can't afford to, to pay that a month on top of, you know, everyday bills and, and so on and so forth. And I just think if the season's going to be shortened, which I think it should be, as you heard from me before, then I think that's a good time to, um, you know, to have all all the games on, on free-to-air and make it accessible to, to everyone and, and give the league a chance to get back to the popularity it once was by, you know, giving everyone a chance to, to see it. Now, this probably won't happen anytime soon because of the current broadcast agreement, but hopefully the next broadcast agreement will see maybe Channel 10 bid again or Channel 7 want to broadcast every game or another broadcaster. I just, I'd just i like to see all games back on free-to-air like it was a few seasons ago. That was just fantastic. And that is ways to improve the Big Bash, in my opinion. I'm sure there's many other ways to improve the Big Bash, and that's where you come into the discussion. Please do leave your thoughts, your opinions, down in the comments below. Do you agree? Do you disagree with me? I'm looking forward to reading your comments over the coming days. And I do hope that Cricket Australia does something ahead of BBL 12. I feel like uh, the same sort of things were being called for at the end of last season, but they sort of just seem to shrug it under the rug and do nothing about it and just keep doing things their own way. I do think Cricket Australia and the people that run the Big Bash do need to pull their finger out and, and do something to point the Big Bash back in the right direction but thanks for watching this video uh, like I said please do leave your comments below please give this video a thumbs up and please press that subscribe button it all helps trust me it all helps at the end of the day so thanks again until the next video stay well catch you later you ripper dipper legends